Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at CodeCommit, which is a fully managed source control service that hosts secure Git-based repositories. And I like to think of it as the GitHub for AWS. So to understand CodeCommit, we need to know what a version control system is, and that is a system that records changes to a file or set of files over time so that you can recall specific versions later. A very famous uh, story about um, a code base not having a version control system, I think is either Doom or Wolfenstein, I can't remember which one, uh, but the idea was that they had a bunch of people working on computers to uh, program that game back in the early 90s, um, and uh, since there was no control version control system or they weren't using one, uh, they had to uh, uh, move code around on um, on you know, floppies. And you know it was very difficult to manage all that code. And also, you know, if you had one computer that had that source code, if anything happened to that computer, all your code was gone. So this is what version control systems uh, alleviate. And so in 1990, we had CVS, which stands for I think Control Version System. Not a very creative name, but very clear as to what it does. Then you had Subversion. This is where I started out um, using SVN. Uh, and then in 2005, we had a renaissance for version control systems with Mercurial and also Git, which you might be familiar with. And Git is actually the most popular um, uh, version control system, and there's good reason for it. Um, it's a distributed version control system, and its goals, which it does definitely deliver on, is speed, data integrity, and support for distributed nonlinear workflows. So because of um, you know all those features of Git, that's why that is the primary one. And so any version control system, that is generally what it is using. So what is CodeCommit then? So CodeCommit is a service which lets you store your Git repositories in the cloud. So developers can push and pull code from the cloud repository, and it has tools to resolve conflicts. Uh, and so you just go ahead and create your repository, and then you could download your code from there, upload and etc. Uh, and if you've ever used something such as GitHub, Bitbucket, or GitLab, this is the same thing, but this is just like AWS's solution for uh, hosting repositories, um, but with some uh, special features.